Good morning. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to be part of this very important meeting to deliberate on a matter of great national importance, accelerating attainment of Millennium Development Goals 4 and 5, and more specifically, ending preventable maternal and newborn deaths in our country. Childbirth should be a joyous moment for families and communities. Sadly, many times in Kenya and around the world, it becomes a period of loss and mourning. Too many women and newborns are dying unnecessarily. In this country, we lose over 5,500 mothers every year, a statistic too hard to take as normal in this age of development and 50 years of post-independence. These statistics indicate that we have lost 18 to 20 mothers. We will have lost 18 to 20 mothers by the end of today, which is equivalent to an 18-seater minibus with pregnant women crashing and killing the passengers every day. Ladies and gentlemen, this is unacceptable. Most of these deaths are avoidable and indeed preventable. With less than 500 days remaining, Kenya is clearly off track to achieving MDGs 4 and 5 on maternal and child health. There are opportunities to reverse these trends and I appreciate the efforts the government is making through free maternity services and improving the skills of health workers. I also take this opportunity to and applaud the dedication of all health workers who often have to work under very difficult circumstances to save the lives of women and babies around the country. The Constitution of Kenya 2010 and its devolved health services have given us the opportunity to tailor interventions according to the specific needs of the different communities, thus bringing services closer to the people and increasing access. In doing so, the goal should always re remain to reach every family. I have demonstrated through the Beyond Zero campaign that public-private partnerships can go a long way in supporting the improvement, improvement of, the health, of, of the health status of our women and children. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, reducing maternal and child deaths requires concerted multi-sectorial investments. Hence, the other social determinants that we must address include education, especially of girls, gender equality, roads infrastructure, sanitation, clean water, amongst many others. Our health systems must deliver for our mothers. We must therefore prioritize maternal and newborn survival and mobilize resources at all levels. As leaders, partners and donors, each one of us wants the best value for money. Hence, we must invest in evidence-informed interventions that demonstrate higher returns so that many lives are saved and more disabilities averted but primarily we should, in whatever we, in whatever we do, continue to be accountable to the families and communities. It is important for us to equally invest in increasing demand and utilization of health services by the community. As we improve the health-seeking behavior of, of the community, the health service provision must be ready to meet this increased demand. Finally, 
I leave you with this quotation from Dr. Margaret Chan, Director, of, Director General of World Health Organization, who said, the obstacles that stand in the way of better health for women are not primarily technical or medical in nature. They are social and political, and the two go together. With those few remarks, ladies and gentlemen, I now declare this consultative meeting on maternal and newborn health officially opened. Thank you.